It might not look like a radical event, but this is the first successful demonstration of a road train. The car is following the truck autonomously. In theory, any number of other vehicles could do the same. The road trains are convoy of vehicles equipped with wireless technology that mimics the professional driver in the lead vehicle. Eric Curling is the project leader at Volvo. The lead vehicle is driven by a human driver and we're monitoring how the driver is driving. So we're looking at steering wheel angle and at speed and accelerations. And those signals are measured and communicated to the cars which are behind. Each car adjusts its distance, speed and direction according to the car in front. The idea improves road safety with human error causing at least 80% of all road accidents. And it cuts fuel consumption and CO2 emissions by up to 20%. It also frees up time for the driver to do other things and relieves traffic congestion, although letting go of the wheel takes some getting used to. Uh, this is uh, unusual, I would say. This is very unusual, but at the end, the, the fact that the car just follows the car in front is not so unusual because it's, that's very much like an adaptive cruise control. But the fact that you don't have to look at the road and this car can steer automatically, that's, I'm not comfortable yet. Daniel Frodin, the editor of Swedish car magazine Technology World, says road trains are a great idea, but getting car manufacturers to agree on a standard will not be easy. The European car uh, manufacturers uh, have a great pride, and, and of course they want to, uh, you know, make make their own system and, and maybe ha have their own uh, special uh, way of putting it, so they can uh, take advantage of that in in in, in advertising and, and for their brand. So it, it's really important that they all get together uh, on one standard that they can, can uh, really agree on. So don't expect to be reading the paper as you head up the motorway anytime soon. Stuart McDill, Reuters.